Hi, it's Susan Guess, and we're back with another wow maker, Katie Engler. Katie Engler is a busy gal, just like you, I'm sure. She serves on the Paducah Bank Advisory Board, so thank you for that. You're welcome. A really great thing you may not know about Katie is she owns chicken salad chicks. So if you haven't been there, I told Katie my favorite thing is the egg salad. They've got a lot of flavors. How many flavors of chicken 13, 13, 13. Two pimento cheese, 13 yeah, chicken salad, egg salad, and all the sides. Yeah, and uh, before we move on to what we're really talking about, the grape salad's really good. It's grapes. <laughs> Cream cheese. Deliciousness. Yes, yes. <laughs> so if you haven't been out there, yeah. go to Chicken Salad Chick. But Check it out. Maybe even more important, Katie owns Compass Counseling, and it is January. It's been cold and been warm, and we've had Christmas holidays, Thanksgiving. It's just a stressful time. It is. So, Katie, if you could give us any advice on how to manage stress, really not just at this time of the year, but just in our daily lives. Yeah. What would you say? I think to accept that you can't get rid of it. (laughs) It's a good place to start. Like everybody has some level of stress. Like we have that response and reaction for a reason. Um, And it's to tell us to, to breathe and to take some time and Take a step back and think and plan. And sometimes those two things, like just to take a break and breathe and pause and say, okay. Because I think we get stressed when we're just like doing, 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 doing. And so I think to take a moment to say, okay, can I, can some of these things wait? Um, Do I have to do that right this exact moment? And am I being efficient with my time? So Mm -hmm. I think that those are some things that when you can take a few minutes even to sit down and whether you're a paper person or a digital person person, however you like to organize, you know, planning can help eliminate some of that stress, not all of it, but that's a good place to start that I feel like most people can do. I guess it takes your focus off the stress. Yeah. And so you mentioned breathing. How important is breathing? What's vital to life. Yes, yes, (laughs) yes. So I think, you know, that's something that I've started to put on my priority list to really um, spend time learning more about in 23 um, is the power of breath um, because we it is vital to life. And I think when we're stressed and anxious, we know that we start to take quick, short breaths instead of the longer um, intentional, they call it belly breathing, um, that really um, is best for your brain and mm. will help you help those parts of your brain that help you relax, take that in. And so um, the importance of it is is huge. I mean, it just impacts every area of who you are as a whole person. Um, So I think that it is very important and it's something that everybody has to do and everybody can do. You don't have to pay for it, you know. Right. So, I mean, I think learning how to, how the benefits of how that works, um, that, that's how it made it to my purpose list this year. And so when we think about mental health in mm-hmm. a bigger picture, uh, you know, there's, it's something that I find important in terms of, you know, how can we make an impact? But I think all of us are aware that there are more needs than there are services like Compass Counseling offers. Sure. And so, and then I think, do you think also there's still a stigma around people who may be suffering, but they're not getting help? What I feel like what I've noticed is that as a community here um, in the past 10 years, um, I have noticed the community really become a lot more accepting and acknowledge that, you know, mental health is just a part of the whole health of a person. Um, I think sometimes where we feel, we feel stigma ourselves. Like that there's something wrong with me maybe for a minute if I need help or if I can't solve all problems at all times by myself. Um, So I think it's an internal stigma even. Mm. Um, But, you know, there it is a part of your whole health. So I think having um, the resources, there's no there's no way that everybody can get counseling at all times. So I think learning skills and incorporating those things in additional in addition to clinical services um, are beneficial for everyone's mental health. So why did you get involved in mental health? Oh, my is there story, a good story is there. <laughs> yeah, uh, probably. Um, I started out. I'm one of those people that changed majors like five times in normal <laughs> in normal college. So where'd you start? I started in event planning. Okay. Yeah. And then you went to 
And then I went to pharmacy. Okay. And then? And then I went to business. Okay. And then I ended up in, I was going to be a home ec teacher. Okay. A good variety of careers. I mean, I'm a random person, yeah. right? So, um, so yeah, a home ec degree is what I ended up with um, at UK. And then I tried to do the teaching part, and I realized that wasn't for me. So I became an extension agent. So that's what I did my first job out of college when I graduated. And we had to get our master's degree. And so I was like, oh, okay. So I was interested in all things, you know, people and relationship. People, yeah. So that made sense to me. So that's what, what we did. Well, I think it's a great path. Yeah. You should follow where it leads you, and yeah. this is where it leads you. So you you said uh, before we started the interview that you've hired several people. So tell yes. us about Compass Counseling. Yeah, so Compass Counseling, I started it in 2013, so we're coming up on 10 years, hard to believe, um, in a closet that I rented from a doctor here in town by myself. And um, from there, God said, do that. I said, all right. And today we have offices in Paducah, in Owensboro, Henderson, Lewisport, and people, providers online. Um, so I never would have dreamed wow. um, that that would happen from starting off in a little closet by myself. That's a wonderful <laughs> story. Yeah. So do you serve all ages? Um, typically, um, the the younger ages, I would say under five. Um, we have a couple of providers who specialize in that. That really does require specialty. Um, so most of our providers are, I would say, eight and up. So yeah, all ages. Yeah, all ages. And so before we go, so okay. how's chicken salad chicken in that picture of Katie's world? Yeah, so my dad's an entrepreneur and um, we were looking for something to be more family friendly and something that we could do to, you know, for our family future. And that was a good fit for us. And so we were like, we love the brand. And so we were like, let's do it. And so that's, that's, and I loved the food. Yes. You know, I'm a gluten-free person and I could have all the flavors and it, there was a lot of variety in that for me. And so when we would go out of town, I just liked to go in there. So I was like, if we can do it and we, we want to do it, let's just, let's go for it. So, so yeah, that's what we did. So Katie Englert, all around girl power. Okay. Girl power. <laughs> Restaurant owner. Owns Compass Counseling. Yeah. Serves on the Paducah Bank Advisory Board. Volunteers in the community. Came and helped hang scarf. Scarf in the park. It's my favorite thing. Yes. Yeah, so again, we are highlighting wow makers. And Katie Englert, she is a wow maker. Thank so you. thank you for coming out today. Of course. Thanks for having me. Yes.